I mean, every time I fight Lucina, I think, oh my god, stay off, stay on stage as long as possible yeah. because like, this chick please, has too please much. Please ledge guard me. I'd rather you ledge guard me than edge than like like. Oh, rip, ledge trap me. Ledge yeah. Trap me than like edge guard me. Yeah, I would much rather you do because like she has the crazy up E that everybody knows is super strong in the front. It's just like if you try to hit her in the back as she's up Eing. Uh, you are either going to succeed or totally lose your positional advantage that you had. And her, her aerial mobility is just so good. It's just like, uh, what do I do? Uh, take what you can get. Uh, it looks like we're finally starting now. Uh, yet again, so like we were saying, like with buffs and whatnot, like what, what, what is a character you feel like needs a buff? And what character do you feel like, how would you buff them? I think, well, a minute one would be for your character, actually. You should have the ability to up B after getting hit, or up uh, side B after getting hit. Because, like, almost every other character that I can think of can do that, but why not Little Max? It seems a bit unfair. Um, but as far as, like, buffs for characters, I mean, I'm, I'm going to pretty much just think about my own character. Um, but, like, for characters that I feel bad for, like, Isabel, uh. why did they... I mean, like, people seem to be on the fence, because, like, Isabel's a pretty popular character, but, like, a lot of people are saying that she's not as bad as everyone is, you know, so inclined to say. Right. But I... I feel like one of the things that, like, like for, for my character in particular, like, the side beat thing, it, it sucks, but, like, I can live with that, yeah. you know? Because he's supposed to have a bad recovery. I'm fine with that. It's my neutral, like, like, there are times where, like, if you're smart, if I don't hit you with S smash or F tilt, like, you can live to, like, stupid high percent. I want, like, a kill confirm. I want his, like, down tilt up B or, like, up tilt up B to, like, actually, like, com combo and kill. But yeah, down tilt's the truth. And we got a Sonic, another character that a lot of people think isn't so good, but seriously, Sonic is just fun. Right. <laughs> Fight a Sonic and you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, I feel like the reason why he's not as good in this game as in the last game is because he actually has to like commit to something, you know? Yeah. I mean, he can still kind of bypass your shield with all of his uh, his spin dash stuff, but it has to be charged to like a full. Uh, it, it's just like when you look at a character with speed, mobility, and combos, universally, historically speaking, these characters have done just fine in Smash. So I'm not afraid for Sonic's future. Yeah. I mean, we still have Ken doing like super well in Japan. Like, yeah. pretty much getting like first or second at every tournament he goes to. Yeah, Japan is so stacked. Yeah. But you know what? That's not the same on Mega Man either. Mega Man is a really good character, and they actually gave him like every nerf that they could, and he's still awesome. You know, uh, Leaf Shield being a lot more punishable, though. Street Shark has to be very aware of that Leaf Shield. Wow. I feel like Leaf Shield is, like, one of those, like, best changes that Mega Man ever got because it gives them, like, a really, like, let me land move. And, oh, my God. Is that be okay. Saving? Yeah, he's got the yeah. air dodge. Yeah. Oh, my God. Street Star saving Rockman right there. Yeah, he did. He really did. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Punching him right in the face. Yeah. Taking him out there. Okay, that was kind of a weird little shot there. It might have been a misinput. And, uh, look at that homing attack. That's a really good thing to use that uh, that Buster Blade for, or the Buzz Blade for. Okay, shooting him in the face. All right. I like what he did. He threw out the F smash because he knew that if he dropped shield, or if he held shield, he would have broken the shield. So he yeah. had to drop it in order to like not get his shield broken. Yeah, or at least turn it into an M&M, &M, which is always, always a scary prospect. You see how he shielded the, the little side B, and it just like went past the shield? Right. That was cute. It's just like, I'm gonna scrape by it, but I'm gonna slow down as soon as I hit it, because yeah. like I know I hit something, but it just wasn't you. It's like gravity doesn't affect it anymore. Yeah. All right, and you know, like, when you see uh, a Mega Man that can camp you out with lemons, I, I think even a character like Sonic would have a lot of trouble, uh, but that neutral B also seems to be working pretty well. Oh, he blew himself up. Uh, putting yourself in disadvantage, come now. I mean, I definitely know with Mega Man, like, being able, he has like that whole like, horizontal like wall and then like a little bit up when he jumps so if you get come in at that 45 degree angle from above like Mega Man's gonna really struggle to like wall you out yeah it's true it's true uh, that's basically yeah like as soon as he does a jump oh we're getting these up airs uh, but as soon as you get a jump you still have to be afraid of like the, the lemons and whatnot so he's, he's got a little more range than that just that cookie cutter you know Mega Man trajectory right it's all about like how well can he oh I like that was he, tight yeah that was tight oh, oh. You know he wanted to punish that neutral B, but unfortunately, like, that homing attack really does live up to its name, and it homes in on you. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it homes in into the blast zone, but uh, not in this situation. Tree Shark totally edgeguarded the hell out of him. 
Nice land in, okay. Oh, he went so zealous for that down air. Okay, Blucko. I feel like what people need to realize about homing attack is that you either need to spot dodge it, which is really hard to do because it comes out super fast. It's hard. Or just run away completely because if he hits the ground, he suffers so much end lag that yep. you can get a hard punish off of it. You need to whiff punish. And just in general, generally speaking, it's much better to let aerials whiff than to shield them in most cases, uh, depending on how negative the aerial is on a shield. Ooh, oh, it's sure you can time? That's right. That is right. Again, that air dodge to the ground. No, it's just kind of like a good like get off me option, but if you don't swing, then that's a free punish right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, you know, did Street Shark just try to down air him and two frame him? But he had the uh, the saw in his hand, so he didn't. I don't think so. That, that would have been cool. I wonder if Sonic can even do that. Oh, right here comes the explosion, and yet again, Mega Man manages air dodge past it, gets the leaf shield on the ground, gets a back air. Mm. Street Shark's probably shaking his head right now because he's just uh, kind of allowed Rock Man to land like that. Oh. All right. Oh, that Bro. was a really bad dash attack, but yet again, doesn't get punished for it. You know, dash attack is probably like one of those few moves that you can grab off of. The shield, I figured that was a grab, just you know, free. Yeah, that was a grab in the back throw, and that would have been game right there. I like that idea though with the the, uh, the spring. Oh, yeah. still getting hit. Nice homing attack. Getting back on stage as soon as he can. This homing attacks, dude. And I yeah. think a back throw with the ledge would kill. Ooh, that was the board smash, and yet again, Rockman is just trying to do everything he can to prevent Sonic from breaking his zone, but. Yet again, that homing attack just comes in so fast that it makes it hard for him to set up his wall. He didn't get the grab, and now he has the grab, but is he heavy? Yes, he is. He is. All right, oh, I like it. Oh, just has the back air. He barely rolled past that, and oh. he still didn't get the punish. Oh my god, he, I, I like what he did. He's just like, nope, let me get out of here. My, my shield is low, and avoids the forward air. Yet again, this is so close for both players. We need to see one of these guys. Is, oh, no, no, no. He, yeah, he's not quite there yet. Right. Oh my god. Oh this my is god. Tough. And I I'm doubtful. It's yeah. stale. It's stale and no pummel. You gotta pummel, man. You have to pummel. I completely agree. Wow. Oh, Street Shark shaking his head like that actually killed. I feel like the only way that works out is if you throw it immediately and like you have a quick enough throw where they can't DI in time, you know? I'm but, just shocked that he died. I mean, I know Sonic's pretty light, and Mega Man had max rage, but damn. I mean, I'm not surprised. You no, know, Sonic was at like 140, Thir yeah, like 136 or something. Yeah. yeah. So he was at like 140 something after the throw. So, and not quite at the edge of the stage, but like close enough where yeah. like I would have pummeled like four or five times just to ensure that would have killed. Oh yeah. I I fought enough Bowsers to like a Bowser taught me pummel like pummel a lot because you're going to need to at least get like two or three. Especially you know, when you're at that high percent where like two or three percent can make the difference between taking the stock or not. Like yeah. that's basically what happened. No, Street Shark had the opportunity to take the stock. And he almost killed without he pummel. Yeah, we almost killed without pummel. With yeah. pummel, he probably would have killed. Yeah, pummel. All right, now this is a decent stage actually, I think. Um, actually for both players because it's just like up air is going to have a much harder time killing uh, for Mega Man. Um, I actually kind of like this for Sonic because it's like there's a lot of space and usually that's good for Mega Man, but Sonic can close space so well. Uh, th yeah, yeah, I like this one. Yeah. I think this is a slightly better pick for Sonic just because you know he can use the platforms to kind of like recatch and recenter himself and like juggle a lot easier, better yeah. than Mega Man can. And avoid all the the linear projectiles. All right. Ah, oh, he should have recovered high there. There we oh. go. Oh, both players trying to go for that edge guard, but yet again, just barely whipping and. Nice homing attack. That, that's a nice little recovery option, but it, it seems a little risky. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Good sure you. Again, there's that using that homing attack a little bit too liberally, nice. and then the air dodge is back onto the ledge. Yeah. You no know, characters that have a B that they can act out of just so that they can get that extra little height, like. Like, oh my god. Both Those, of these characters have it. Yeah. Nice back air, and it didn't kill. No rage, that's why. All right. I like what uh, Rockman did there. Like, he didn't have to try to go into the center of the stage. He could have just, like, camped out in Street Shark, but I, I like what he did. That was a smarter move, I think. Nice, oh. using the platform. Ah, oh, get on stage. Yet again, Street Shark just struggling to find his kill at this point. Mm. 
But he gets the grab, and that, there you go. He learned his lesson. He, he pummeled. pummeled. He pummeled. Good man, Street Shark. I knew you were, I knew you were quick. Yeah. All right. Not so, not so um, good with the anti-airs, however. Like, he really needs to, uh, Rockman needs to start paying attention to how Street Shark is landing. Nice. Yo, quick fair using the, the crash bomber to kind of be like, okay, how are you going to react to this? And then, there we go. You now stuffing that uh, homing attack out with the back air. Yeah, that's uh, one of the first back airs I've seen him connect. And there's another one. Okay. We're not going to get another one. No, he's recovering as uh, low as possible. Oy. I think uh, when Rockman lands with the down air, uh, that also kind of gets him into a little bit of trouble. Nice. Oh, you know he wanted to confirm that oh, metal yeah. blade into up tilt, but that wasn't going to be true, and that's not enough uh, hit stun on him. He wasn't close enough. Yeah. Okay, that forward, that forward air is actually really freaking strong too from Sonic. Like I, I've died at surprising percents to that move. Wow, just powering through all of that nonsense. Okay. And again, he's trying to get the reversal, but not going to find it. But gets the back air, gets the back air, and the back air. Up, oh, looking cute. Yeah. Oh, oh, put back air into another back air. Okay, sweet. These guys are blow for blow. I like what he did there because he's just like, okay, I'm my back for you. Like, you're either gonna roll or you're gonna jump, and I'm gonna bet that you're a smart enough player where you won't roll out of the corner like this. So, yeah. but again, that was really good read on Street Shark's part. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like how we went under crossing under Mega Man. That's actually a big weakness for Mega Man. I'm more uh, with quicker characters. There's that grab. Gets the re-grab. Oh, and he picked up the blade, too. That actually kind of hurts him a little bit. Right. Okay, jumping over. Now you can see both players just kind of slowing down the pace of this match at this point. Yeah, Street Shark ran away because as soon as he picked up that Buster Blade, he's like, oh, my neutral. Uh. Oh, what, what, what do I do now? There oh. we go. Stack it on. Yeah. I like what he tried doing there with the quick back air because you know that that, that Crash Bomber is going to do a lot of shield pressure. <laughs> All right. And one character is a lot lighter than the other. Okay. And here's a quick spin dash. I'll you know, try and read the, the air dodge in, unfortunately. But gets hit with the parry to up tail. And gets <gasps> Thought he was going to go for another one. I, know. I, I I was feeling it in my soul right there. But he wants it. Ooh, he wants it too much. Yeah, that, that was not good. Yeah, man. He wanted that a little too much. Yeah, like I, from what I know is if you were going to be doing um, – the, the metal blade into a shore you can you basically want to be like right on top of him z drop that that mother and then blah just chin him i mean that up tilt kind of decently fast for like oh, how yeah. strong it is it's got good but startup it's got good startup but that end lag man that's gonna hit you like a train if you win just like what sonic did at the end right there you know he whiffed it got like like a 30% charge death smash out of it. Sure. Yeah, and then them's the rules when it comes to fighting games. It's basically like if you, as it should be, if you have really low startup on a move, you're probably, depending on how strong it is, you're probably going to get hella and lag on it, and vice versa. All right, so we're running it back to two blues. Nice, easy combo. And that leaf, that, that leaf shield, is really scary because here's the thing: it's like it's very unsafe uh, the second that you release it, but you're still able to move around, so you don't always have to be like. Typically, you want to be in front of somebody's face with that move, but uh, if you know that they punish it consistently, you have options. I mean, it's one of those things where like you you can't punish the leaf shield itself; you have to punish what he does with it afterwards. Yeah, if you have a disjoint and you hit him at the right spot, you can you can get him while he's in it, but it's very hard. It's very hard. Honestly, like half the time, it's not even worth it. Just, yeah. just, just go for the, the what he does with it afterwards. Yeah, just whiff. Make him whiff something. Nice homing attack. And you know, like homing attack, like just because I am generally ignorant on uh, on Sonic. Oh my God! Destroyed. Uh, it seems like homing attack sometimes misses completely, even if they're like right in front. Like I've seen it happen a, a little bit. I mean, it depends on like if the player moves and whatnot, and at what point you release the homing attack. Yeah. Wow. I, I was just like losing my mind over that those three backers that he got in a row. That was really nice. Okay. And again, like that supercharged, like, I'm gonna read your neutral get up and then cover your roll too. Mm. But you no, know, Rockman being a little bit smarter, being like, okay, I see you charging there, let me let me jump instead. Yeah. 
But he remember, he actually got punished for doing that uh, one time. He ended up just getting back aired. Whoa! Uh, that is a call out if I've ever seen one. Oh, yeah. Uh, still throwing that Metal Blade to no effect. Okay. Oh, he got the thing. I didn't hear the sound effects. Wow! Did you see his fist, like, travel off his shield? Just bullet? Dude, I, I like what he did there, because basically he put him into so much shield stun that, like, he thought, like, oh, okay, I can punish the down air. And no, because of the, the crash bomber and the down air combined. That was so there insane. was enough hit stun on that where, like, he couldn't grab or do anything. And so once he dropped shield, he got hit with that up tilt. That was awesome. I hope someone clips that. You know what to do, chat. Nice. Making it back. Didn't get the cross up back air. I thought for sure he was going to go for that option. And right. again, no. Mega Man with a two stock lead at this point. He's just free to just sit back and uh, uh, those aren't lemons, those are marshmallows because he's just going to sit back and camp. Yeah, basically. And it's almost a, it's starting to look like a three stock lead. None anymore. Okay. I mean, what is it? Like 89% on your second stock when you're fresh? Well, so Sonic has a mountain and a half to climb. Oh, yeah. It it's not like he's heavy. But, you know, uh, Rockman, he, he, like I said, he's still really into the down air train, and he gets homing attack a lot. He's got, he, he's got to be a little bit more careful. He could just get this stolen away from him. It's very possible. I mean, the only way oh. I... Yeah, there's yeah. no way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. The only way I could see uh, Street Shark possibly coming back from that is if he gets, like, the spin dash down air and, like, go 